What time is my court date in Tulsa Municipal Court? I'm Tulsa Attorney James Worth, and that is the question that we have. What time are court dates generally set, and what does it mean in Tulsa City Court? All right, so basically, there's different times for different dockets, and depending on what time you're set, that'll tell you what docket you're on, or if knowing what docket you are on, then you know what time it is set. So let me tell you a little bit more about that. So if you're sided with the traffic offense or a misdemeanor in Tulsa Municipal Court, the first thing you're going to be set for, generally speaking, is going to be an arraignment, and all the arraignments are set at 8.30. Now, Tulsa Municipal Court is somewhat flexible. You may be able to come a little bit early to add that on or later, but as far as the official time that it's set, if it's an arraignment or a first appearance, it's going to be 8.30 in the morning, unless you're a juvenile, but we're talk about that later. The next docket is going to be the 930 docket, and that's your pretrial conference docket. That's where you have an opportunity generally as attorneys where we meet with the prosecutors, see, um, make arguments with them, try to see if we can get a deal worked out. If so, you can enter it on that date. You can also do that out on the arraignment docket, but it's more frequently done on that subsequent conference docket. Then the next docket is going to be the review docket. Monday through Friday, generally, it's a 10.30 a.m. for that, where you've got like deferred sentence reviews, continued sentence reviews. And then for non-jury trial docket, probation docket, and motion docket, that's 2 p.m. regularly. And then as far as juvenile cases, if it's a juvenile ticket, citation, it's going to be Wednesday, 4 o'clock, when those are typically set. Only other thing we have left to deal with is jury trials. If you're demanding a jury trial and you have a right to one based on what is in controversy, then there's going to be a sounding docket that is set at 2 p.m. the Friday before the jury dockets, and they have jury dockets in January, April, July, and October. So not every week do they have jury trials there, but when they do, the week ahead of time, they set you on a sounding docket for the jury trial at 2 p.m. on Friday, and then that'll determine what order you're taking as far as all the people in line to have a jury trial, what order it's going to be next week to give you an idea on when the trial is going to be next week. So when we get calls from people looking for representation in Tulsa Municipal Court, or maybe they don't even know what court it's in because we have Tulsa County right next door, a lot of times we'll find out, you know, what time are you set? What are you set for? And with that information, it can help us determine what is actually going on. If they're set at 830, well, we know that it's an arraignment in Tulsa Municipal Court um, because nothing occurs in county court before nine o'clock for those types of things. And they do their arraignments at nine o'clock. So a lot of things in county are right on the hour and a lot of things in municipal, generally speaking, are at the bottom of the hour. So that helps, you know, with some confusion with callers that we're talking to to help find out what's going on in the case so we can better serve them and find out how to help them. So if you're dealing with a case in Tulsa Municipal Court, Tulsa City Court, you're probably going to want to talk to an attorney about that privately, confidentially to get advice, to talk with a lawyer at my office. You can go online to makelaweasy.com.